Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome to a brand new 2014 FIFA World Cup qualification series. Today, we're going to be trying to do the qualifying series with Timor Leste. They were one of the first teams, I believe, to get eliminated in the 2014 campaign. So I'm going to try and see how far I can push them. Now, qualifying with Timor Leste is pretty much impossible but if I can get past like the first round or maybe get into the second round then that would be very impressive I reckon so we're not looking to well we are looking to qualify from the World Cup of course you know we want to try and improve the team but realistically I just want to see how far we can get so we're going to do a custom fixture type as we always do and the first match we got Mongolia but what we usually do is we like to shuffle this so in three two one boom and we're in a oh we just got mongolia again but it just shifted to the side fair enough not too bad at all so yeah that is our date with destiny mongolia will be our first round opponent so this video is as you know just the friendly matches and the first qualifying round pretty much we're just gonna see who's good who's bad and looking at the squad right now i mean Everybody has a very low rating. The lowest rating I can see on that squad is 38 on the wing there. Jose Dual Pereira um, and the right back as well, Nazario Do Carmo. I don't know if these are real players or not, but it's just crazy how low rated they actually are. I mean, I know it's Timor Leste and they're not the best nation in the world at football. But look, like some of these ratings are just absolutely diabolical. Okay, so we changed the squad now, and most of the players that are on the field are now rated 40, apart from the left back and the right back, but that's not too bad. The highest rated player is now the goalkeeper. So, we're going to do a few friendly matches before we start our qualifying campaign, and our first match of this video is going to be against Yemen. Timor Leicester versus Yemen in our first friendly match. I cannot wait to start this qualifying campaign. Part of me thinks that I can push Timor Leicester to the second round, but I just don't know how good they'll be. Like, most of their stats are so bad that controlling the ball in this gameplay is going to be absolutely horrendous. Got the ball here, and we give it away. Movement. Not the best <laughs> for a 44 rated team, but Yemen don't seem to possess that great a movement either. I think it's just going to be one of those games that is, might just end 1-0 into the middle. And we got thrown off. Is that going to be a free kick? It is. Good opportunity for Timo Leicester to score here. I'm going to try and bend the free kick in. Luizinho. Ooh, okay. Wasn't that far off. I was hoping it'll curve a little bit. Through ball, and somehow I'm through with Eusebio de Almeida. He goes for it. Oh, that was close. Surprisingly, we've got a lot more space than I usually get on this game in the first couple of friendly matches. Usually, I'm closed down immediately when I'm playing as a bad team. But maybe because we're playing other bad teams as well, um, there's going to be a bit more of an open game. It's half time, and... A bright start from Timo Leicester. We've had a couple of shots, but no real, like, good opportunities, if you get what I mean. Through ball. Bartholomew. He's going through. And that's just a bit too late. But they recover just about. And I get it back again. And then I give it away. The quality of football isn't that great. Luizinho goes for it. Oh, good save. That was the best chance of the game by far. Only 15 minutes to play in this friendly match and Timo Leicester have been slightly unlucky that they haven't actually scored yet. Yemen keep giving the ball away and then I keep fouling them. It's just been one of those games. And that's it. Game over. And Timo Leicester bagged their first draw of this video in a friendly match against Yemen. Decent start, to be honest. Our second friendly match of this video is against the Philippines. I don't really know too much about Philippine football. Apart from on this game, I know that the Philippines have Schrock, who is a fairly decent winger on this game. And they also have the two strikers, um, the I think they're brothers, young husband, I think. Um, that's the only ones that I really know of. I don't really know how good the Philippines are on this game. I haven't played as them for about three years, so maybe we need to revisit them. Oh, given away there by Timor Lester and fouled. And we just fouled the Philippines on the edge of the box. I was trying to recover my error and young husband has a chance to maybe score. 
And that's a decent... Wow. Okay, well, <laughs> the Philippines have just scored in the sixth minute. And that's the young husband with the goal. And that's 1-0 to the Philippines. Very nicely worked free kick, it has to be said. For a one-star team to do that, that's actually pretty impressive. The way he just, like, bent it in to the bottom corner there. Through ball to Quito. Going to cross this in early and try and catch him out. Oh, okay. It's bounced back out to me. Crossed in again. And yes, Tim Alesto scored. He just got in front of his man there. And Bartholomew has scored the header. And what a quick equaliser that was for Tim Alesto. Why didn't the Philippine keeper come out and push it away? I'm fairly sure the Philippines had uh, Everidge, right, back here, who used to play for Fulham. Uh, I'm not... Sure, who else? But that's the only one that I remember. The one thing I do know about the Philippines, obviously, I've been there. I went there for about five months when I was over there. The Philippine women's international team qualified for the World Cup, the Women's World Cup, which is coming up later this year. And that's their first ever qualification. And also, their women's team won the Asian Championships. I'm fairly sure that's how they qualify for the World Cup, right? Because if you win that, you automatically qualify or something like that. But yeah, it just does seem like football, especially on the women's side, is actually growing over there, which is really cool to see. Quite a bit lucky to get back in the game. The cross that I put in obviously was missed. And then I crossed it back in and somehow we headed it in just like that. Just not very good defending relief on the Philippines, but I don't know. I don't know how they, good they are defensively, but very even game so far. Come on, I, I need someone. Come on, like make yourselves a little bit more open. Philippines are closing us down so easily. Oh, that wasn't a bad ball. And it's tackled and it goes out for a corner. All right, I'll take it. See how much of a struggle it is to get Timo Lester to actually go through. Eight minutes to play. Will there be a winner on the cards? The Philippines haven't done anything since they scored that free kick either. So maybe they're struggling a little bit offensively. One final opportunity, maybe. That was lucky. That tackle went straight to me. Here comes Quito. Crossed in. No, no header. Sad. And back out. we got to go for it. And that was a decent attempt. Cross that back in. Go on. Oh, just oh, missed there. It's going to be a 1-1 draw. Not too bad. Again, at least we scored this. So there is minor improvements. But we also conceded a goal. It was a very good goal. But yeah, I think it was unavoidable conceding that goal with a 47 rated keeper with that kind of free kick. You know it's going to happen. Our third match of this video is against Laos away from home. We have done a run with Laos on this game before, but it was only a standard run. And again, it was about two or three years ago. So again, I might revisit them. I think we might have to for a qualifying series because Laos actually don't feature on any other game apart from this game. We have a couple of players that have got green form but also a few that have got red form so a mixed bag corner to Timo Lester crossed in header oh that wasn't a bad header as well towering header that almost goes into the top corner through ball Luizinho trying to push his way through and no got the ball back and yet again not really and then we get, get the ball back again the quality of football isn't the best I do apologize Trying to get past Laos' defence. Very hard. Apart from there. And oh, what a save. Through ball. That's a good one. And it bounces wide. This is probably the most amount of shots we've had in a match so far. Small teams don't really know how to move the ball. Trying to close him down. He's crossed it in. And oh, that was really dodgy defending. And they could have scored. Really, really Poor goalkeeping and dodgy defending as well. It's half time. It's nil nil. We got lucky. Look at the stamina already. We have 16 stamina and 18 stamina as well. Good ball movement over the top. That's not a bad idea. Cross that in. Tipped away. Yes! Over the top of the defender and Eric scores to make it 1 0. What a random name that is. But yeah, Eric scores. And um, that was a nice header. It was assisted by the goalkeeper who opted to punch the ball in the air. And while he was on the floor, nobody can do anything about it. The two defenders couldn't clear it either. And good start for Tim Lester. Moises has got eight stamina, guys. Eight. 
Like, how are you when you have eight stamina in your life? Are you pretty much just like dead at that point? Timo Lester are on the verge of winning this game. And I don't know how often Timo Lester actually win games in real life, but it can't be that much. Well, not very many, I guess. And that's it. Timo Lester have beaten Laos 1 0. Good result for them. At least we got a win in this video and a few goals as well. I think the next match is our first leg against Mongolia. So that will be very interesting to play. I was correct. Our next match is against Mongolia in the first round of qualifying. So we need to be good here. Look at that form. Are you kidding me? Like, where did that come from? So our next match is against Mongolia in the first round of qualifying. So I was right. So we only played three friendly matches before we actually had to play Mongolia. Well, actually, I played four, but one of them I didn't show on camera because it was a really, really boring nil-nil draw against uh, Cambodia. Oh, mistake. And it's trickling. Oh, they just saved it. But we got it back. We go for it and it goes wide. That was like the slowest <laughs> sort of build up to a goal I've ever seen. Into the edge of the box and Keeper had to save. A poor save, but he made a double save somehow. Mongolia pressing. Oh, they turned me so well there. Because it's a qualifier, both teams have been playing very intensely. But Team Olesto have had the better chances for sure. Half-time remains nil-nil. We had the better chances. Mongolia are just kind of like trying. They are trying. They are really trying to push. But it's not really like the most explosive of pushes. And that's because obviously they're a small team. And yeah, they just can't do it. Into the middle. No, that was really slow and poor. When I said into the middle, I pressed the button and then it was delayed. So people are going to think that my audio is not synced up because of that. <laughs> Weird thing to say, but yeah, it's just like so slow to execute a pass. Luzinho crossed in. Go for the strike, it deflects. Wasn't the best idea to go for the strike from that angle. Crossed that in. Got it here. And the touch wasn't great. That's the problem with a small team like this. The ideas are there. The execution not quite on par with what I'm kind of used to. That's going to be full time, I think. It's 90th minute. Yeah. Okay, well, a frustrating game for Team Leicester. We didn't lose, but we didn't take our chances when we had them. We were better than Mongolia attacking-wise, but... Equally, both teams were as good as, as each other defensively, if you get what I mean. Because when Mongolia pressed, we were able to deal with them. But when we pressed, they were able to deal with us. I don't understand how I'm getting bad form for a nil-nil draw. I mean, yes, the strikers should get bad form because they missed loads of chances. But I don't get why the defenders should. It doesn't really make any sense. Second leg, this time away from home. So if we score, it's more important than obviously scoring at home. But there is a danger of us losing this game because we're away from home and everything like that. You know, the Mongolian support looks very good in this match. And I'm hoping Team Alefta can do it. I don't want this to be just a one part series. I kind of want it to be a two or three part if possible. Bartholomew out on the wing. Cross that in. Header. Oh, it's caught. We got it. Good through ball. Go for it. Oh, goalkeeper saves. And yeah, I was aiming for the corners, but it didn't work out that way. Mistake there for Mongolia. I'm still pressing. Oh, come on. Oh, go on. Yes, they've messed up. Luzinho scores and it's 1-0. What a disaster from Mongolia. What were they doing? Like, I get that teams try and pass it around at the back, but the goalkeeper fouled their own defender and it came out to Luzinho. And I kind of thought it was going to be offside because, you know, I don't know. Maybe it could have been. I don't know what happened there, but it's 1-0 and we got the away goal as well just before half time. This could be a crucial goal for Team Leicester. Very, very lucky that... The defender and the goalkeeper decided to mix up their play. 10 minutes to play. Will Mongolia get back into this one? 
They put a ball into the box. It's headed and it's just gone wide. Their first attempt of the game almost goes in from a ball into the box from like their own half pretty much. <laughs> They're just literally walking around the pitch now. But Team Leicester could be on to a second round if they beat Mongolia. Not like the biggest team that I've had to face in the world, you know. Like sometimes it will give you like a huge team in the first round like it did with my El Salvador run. But it's still impressive and it's still minor improvements and at least we get a second part out of this which is just amazing. I can't wait to see where this series will take us as long as we defend in the last couple of seconds. Yep, we've done it and that is it. We're through to the next round. 1-0 uh, over Mongolia thanks to a mistake, but I will take it. We're in the second round of qualifying with Timor Leste. So we have the second qualifying round here against India, literally straight after it. There's no friendlies or anything. We got India. So I'm going to do this match in this video and then round three will be in part two. So you get a little bonus round for you guys. So I hope you enjoy it. So bonus qualifying round against India. Our form is kind of returning to neutral. A couple of players out of form. We'll see how we get on against India. I don't really know how good India are on this game. All I know is he's still got Chetri. Could still be a threat. We are away from home for this one as well. So if we do score, which there is a possibility that we can, then... We will have the away advantage, which is what I really would love. I'm getting used to this Tim Alester squad now. We have to make mini passes and pass a lot more than what I'm used to. Remember, I'm just coming off the back of a Venezuela 2014 gameplay. So being Venezuela is a lot different, obviously, than being Tim Alester. It's a bit harder to get used to. It's all about trying to get lucky again. And that's what we need. Just a bit of luck on our side. And then we'll do it again. Here we go. Timo Lester. NT crosses it in. And what a cross. And what a header that was. I thought it was just going to go over the top of everybody like it usually does. But no. We've scored to make it 1-0. And Timo Lester have got the away goal very early on. What a ball that was though. Like, and I didn't expect Luzinho to actually header it. The goalkeeper was tracking back as well, which meant that he couldn't really save it properly. And we've taken the lead against India. Luzinho into the middle here. India caught out. And wow, we just scored with Eric and that's 2-0. And this Team Leicester team is just getting better and better. What a strike that was. Like, I did think about running through. But I figured that someone might catch me up or I might fluff the shot up. So I just thought, strike it from distance. And it went straight in. Through ball up here. Oh, NT. Go on, NT. Oh, I don't know if you're fast enough. Go for it. Oh, that was not a bad attempt. Not quite fast enough to blaze your way past. Another corner to India. What can they do on this play? It's crossed in. Header by India has just gone wide. Not very good opportunity there to get one back at least. But we are 2-0 up at half time. We are looking so good right now. And I'm hoping we don't blow this. The stamina will start to drop. So India will press a lot more. India definitely tightened up in this second half. Or maybe Timo Leicester have actually slowed down. I don't actually know. But look at our ball movement. Our passing has been so good. We've been quite fortunate to actually come up against two small sides kind of the same rating as us with India and Mongolia because I did a custom tournament and it could have very well put me against someone like Saudi Arabia or I don't know Syria or someone like that so I would have been eliminated straight away if that happened. Final corner of the game and I see the goalkeepers up for this the final couple of seconds and we got it here come on let's try and get the goalkeeper out. No that's terrible. And it goes wide. India put it wide. I was going to like try and put the ball down and then boot it as hard as possible to try and score against India. And they miss a chance to get one back at least. It would have helped the aggregate. And that's going to be it. Timo Leicester have taken a victory here against India. That's a really good result. Really, really good. I'm really proud of Timo Leicester for actually coming here and getting a 2-0. Scoring more than just one goal. 
So again, small improvement. So our final match of this video is against India again, the second leg. And all we really need to do here is just defend. We've got a 2-0 advantage with an away aggregate. So that makes it a lot stronger than if we had won 2-0 at home. So just need to defend well. Hopefully India don't play well again. They didn't play particularly well in the first one. Their shots weren't really that powerful when they went for on goal. Maybe I overestimated India. I thought they'd be actually a decent team, a decent matchup, but so far they haven't. And that's a penalty? Oh, come on. That's never a penalty. He went for the clearance and fell down on the floor, pretty much. Well, not the clearance, the shot. So Chetri's got the chance to get one back. It could be an important away goal. And he goes down the middle and India have scored early on to make it 2-1 on aggregate. So we got to be careful not to get near India in the box like that again. Here come India. Oh, they've just got behind me and a save, but it's 2-2. They've got back into the game. Hussain has scored. No, this is exactly what I did not want. All right, well, now it's level because they've got two away goals. I've got two away goals. India have had more possession. More goals in this half. Just better side than they were in the first game that we played against them. Oh, bounce to me. Go on. Ah, oh, that was a poor attempt. It wasn't even like on target. That should have been on target. And it's 2-0. And um, we're level on aggregate as we go into half time. We need to find a way to get from goal properly and actually score. Through ball. Here comes Moises. Open space. Yes! What a strike that was. You don't leave Timo Lesser like that open. And that is 3-2. We have the home goal. But if India score, then they'll have more away goals. And I'm fairly sure that will mean they will go through. So we can't concede again. India put all their manpower in the middle and forgot about the wing play. Decent defending from Timo Lesser in the second half. We've stopped India from advancing when they have done. They've gone a bit quiet since the first half. I just can't believe that we almost threw this game away as well against India. They got two goals and I was thinking to myself, yep, yeah, they're going to get a third. But no, we got the third goal on aggregate and we're looking decent. And yeah, that's going to be game over, I think, once the goalkeeper boots it away or drops it. And Timo Lester are in the third round of World Cup qualifying. We had to squeeze by India in the end. But fair play to India for giving us a decent game here. And that's our first loss of this video. But obviously it's a win at the same time, if you get what I mean. So yeah, um, we'll find out what group we're in for round three and we'll wrap this video up. Okay then guys, so this is how it's looking like for round three of the Asia qualifying region. There are a few smaller names in here, including us. We are in group A alongside Qatar, Lebanon and Palestine. So not a bad group. It could have been worse. We could have been in group C with Korea Republic, Japan and Syria or Uzbekistan, or in Group E alongside Australia and Iran and China. So it could have been worse, but it's going to be very hard to beat the likes of Qatar and possibly Lebanon as well. I think Lebanon are a two-star team on this game. So yeah, it might be difficult. But tune in next time for the next part. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again for the next video.